Hello there, and today we're going to look at some genuine Cummins pistons, and then some real Cummins pistons, and I got these off of eBay, I believe for the six of them with rings, it was about 380 US, I'll uh, kind of put it in the description, or somewhere in the box here, kind of show you what they are and who I got them from, and then this is a regular QSB piston from a crane, I got it off a of buddy years ago. And if you've ever priced out the genuine Cummins pistons, this single piston here from Cummins is like $600 with rings. It's something ridiculous like that. And to get an entire set with six for 380 bucks around there, it's like, uh, you kind of don't, you don't know if you're getting ripped off or not. And there's so many scams going on. I'd like to kind of put this video out here to help a guy decide and see like, like these look really good. I think they're genuine Cummins. I don't know why they're so cheap. Um, I already unboxed them all except for this one. So this is the box as you get it. It comes in a set of six and they each come individually packed. It's got the barcode there, engine piston kit, part number, stapled up. Pack is really nice. And uh, yeah, DB sales, that's who I got it from on eBay there. So we'll just open it up. I'm going to film this whole process here. So, you know, I'm not doing uh, anything sketchy. So it comes with the piston rings in a kit. And I'll show those in a minute here. Then the... Um, C clips for the uh, wrist pin. So this is genuine Cummins. Oh yeah, and uh, one more glance at the rings here. February 2024. Looks to be pretty new. We've got the piston, nicely wrapped in a oiled up kind of rag here. We got the part number, made in USA. Stampings up top there, front. Bowl looks good. All the machining looks really nice. And the uh, inside here. So something to note I've seen on the photos of like cheap pistons is they may not have the piston oil squirter hole. So when you look for pistons, I think that's kind of a good indicator of a good one and a really cheap garbage one is if it has the oil cooling holes there. So the other side, got the wrist pin. Nice and heavy. Looks good. There's the part number right there. And, uh, fits in there nice. No play. So, giving it a good look at the um, genuine one. And then we've got the, like, actually removed from an engine here. So I'll try and show you them. Side by side, I think. There you go. It's identical. The other side, I think. One part number was just a little. Yeah, maybe they had like a little revised casting there, but uh, all the markings look the same. And then inside, you can kind of see the, the webbing there, but. This one has some sort of symbol in there, but it has the pistons cooling holes too. So, um, I guess, you know, not a lot of everyone's going to be getting QSB 6.7 pistons, but uh, maybe you see another genuine Cummins piston that, uh, you know, a, a standard bowl or five nine twelve 12 valve one, but um, they seem good to me. I don't see anything wrong. I've had a couple different sets of rings, and all the piston rings look really good. They've got some markings on them for whatever reason, but part numbers and such. Oh, looks like a Cummins part number. So rings seem good. Um, another aftermarket pistons I've gotten is a engine tech piston off of Rock Auto. And I unfortunately don't have any in stock right now, but I've gotten numerous engine tech pistons and rings and they've worked great for me. I'll, uh, Kind of put a little picture of one in the box here, but uh, no issues with them. So 
uh, I figured I'd just kind of make this video to help save guys a couple bucks that are otherwise concerned with quality and non-genuine or even I guess this seems genuine to me parts um you know like a Malay piston's about 175 bucks and you know if you can cut your cost in half when you're building an engine it's money you can put towards other things or helps a guy kind of get out there back on the road or making a, another hot rod engine here but uh yeah just a quick little video that's it for today um thanks for watching and uh make sure you check out my rest of my channel these pistons are for a p-pumped 6.7 that i'm building with a pretty crazy compound kit so uh thanks for watching see ya